Hello. In this uh, third presentation, we will take a closer look at the um, inside of the on-ship boundary scan architecture. So, after watching this presentation, you must be able, you will be able to explain uh, what are the main building blocks comprised in the uh, uh, on-ship boundary scan architecture, and also uh, how they enable control and observation of uh, any functional pin. Uh, I should start by calling your attention to the fact that um, every boundary scan device will comprise uh, four uh, test pins and they are the um, test data input and test data output pins. Uh, these two pins are used to scan the data in and out of the device. Also, the test mode select, which defines the uh, operating mode of the test infrastructure, and the uh, test lock pin. Well, these four pins together make up what is called the test access port, or TAP for short. TAP, test access port. Um, you should also notice that uh, uh, this representation shows the core circuitry in uh, color and all the test logic is represented in white. That is to say the white blocks that you see here are uh, those um, test logic blocks that had to be added in order to uh, make this device boundary scan compatible. Well, uh, you are already familiar with the um, uh, boundary scan register uh, comprising the set of boundary scan cells that enable us to test the port and the uh, boundary scan register will be connected between uh, TDI and TDO if these two multiplexers are connected as shown in this case. Um, well, we can also uh, connect another test data register if we switch the so-called data multiplexer as shown now. In the case of the bypass register, this is a one-cell register, so it's a one-bit test register. And this offers a shortcut to go through uh, certain devices where uh, we do not wish to do anything. You, you should uh, take into account that some devices can have more than 1,000 boundary scan cells in their boundary scan register. And so being able to bypass those devices if we are not interested to uh, do anything in their test logic is an important issue. So uh, by controlling the data multiplexer we are able to um, select either the boundary scan register if we want to shift test data to the uh, pins of this device or the uh, bypass register if we don't want to do anything in this device and we just want to have a shortcut. Uh, how do we control the data multiplexer? Well, uh, as you can see here, uh, it is controlled from another register that is called the instruction register. So actually what we should do in the beginning is uh, we should uh, set this multiplexer to the lower input as you see here and then uh, shift in a bit stream that will uh, define the operating mode of uh, this multiplexer and some other blocks in the test logic. So this is actually the first thing that we should do. Shift in the so-called instruction that will define how the uh, data multiplexer operates and what will be the um, selected test data register. Well, uh, we know uh, how to control the data multiplexer, but uh, we could obviously ask how do we control this other uh, so-called data or instruction multiplexer. Well, by looking at this uh, block diagram, you see that the control of this multiplexer comes from another block that is called the test access port controller. And in this fact, in fact, this is a small finite state machine that is controlled by the uh, external test mode select pin. And this um, 
um, test access port controller finite state machine will actually define how the rest of the infrastructure, the test infrastructure works. So in the beginning what we uh, have to do is indeed to drive an appropriate sequence of ones and zeros to TMS so as to uh, bring the test access port controller to a state where the uh, uh, data or instruction multiplexer operates as shown here, we then send in an instruction and then after this instruction is sent, we will be able to uh, operate with the um, test data registers. Uh, notice that there may be additional registers. In this case, I have represented the uh, identification register uh, the identification register is, uh, uh, in fact, the only optional register that is represented in this slide. All the other registers will always be there. The identification register, as well as some other registers that I have not represented, may or may not be present according to the uh, designer of the circuit. Uh, well, in order to continue um, our explanation of how boundary scan works, we will now have to look into the uh, instructions that are supported and also uh, to the operation of the test access port controller. Thanks for your attention.